At this five-day festival, meal times mean outside eating. You can take your pick of takeaways, which means rubbish is a real problem. The messy mornings after a big night need a colossal clean-up, which starts at 6 a.m. The pyramid stage covered in empty cans and cups, picked clean by volunteers who get a ticket for their early morning efforts. Hard work, but uh, it's good fun. It's really satisfying because you start off and the whole field is covered in litter, and then you look over there and it's like, wow, it's all clean. Yeah, it's a lot of rubbish, but someone's got to do it, aren't they? You know I mean? You don't pick it up if it's going to tread it in the ground and then it's worse afterwards. Really right? it As you can see, it's a pretty typical litter picker bag. That is just cans. This is where it all ends up. Collected, composted, sorted and recycled. And more than ever before. What the people, uh, public would assume is general waste, we're tipping those over the belts as well and we're digging the recycling out of those this year as well. Ultimately, all the waste that's generated on this site will be screened. I don't think it's for the best for at all because we still meet up with all our friends and we're able to still enjoy the music. Glastonbury Festival has a commitment to reducing the rubbish going to landfill, controlling what people bring in and what they throw away. The last festival recycled 49% of its waste. This year, the recycle for Michael Army is aiming for even more.